Hi everyone, if you are ready, let's get started with building our chat application. Before we can uh, get working with Xcode, we need to do some uh, setups. So first of all, if you don't have already installed CocoaPods, let's go to CocoaPods.org and uh, go ahead and check how to install CocoaPods on your Mac. Once you have done uh, installing CocoaPods, you need to go to terminal and say gem which CocoaPods and this tells me that I'm running CocoaPods version 101 and currently the time I'm writing this course it's the latest version of CocoaPods so make sure you have installed the CocoaPods and check the version you have so it matches with the classes in case in the future you are watching this video, I would recommend sticking with the same CocoaPods version uh, that uh, I'm shooting the video in, so you don't have any problems with it. So this is for CocoaPods, let's close this. The next thing uh, you need to do is go to Backendless. If you don't have already an account, I'm logged in here, let me go to the main page of Backendless here. This is what you see when you go to backendless.com. Uh, sign up if you don't have an account or just log in. I'm going to log in and uh, as soon as I get to my project folder, here you can see I have two projects. Uh, this is the Quick Chat 2.0 developer. I'm going to create another application. So just click on Create App and I'm going to call this uh, Quick Chat. 2.0. I cannot put a dot there, so it's just going to be Quick Chat 20. Let's create this. It will take a few seconds for Backendless to set up our project. All right, looks like it's ready. Um, this is the main screen you will see when you are in your project. Here you can select one of your projects. Now we are in Quick Chat 20. Uh, what we are going to need from here is the app ID and the application secret, but uh, not for now. Um, let's uh, let's go to Firebase, and um, once you go to console firebase.google.com, um, if you don't have an account, again go ahead and register. I have logged in already, and here you can see all my applications. Um, I have a quick chat uh, 20 developer and I'm going to create a new project and this one I'm going to call uh, quick chat 2.0 country doesn't matter I guess I'm going to select my country here and I'm going to create uh, the project now Firebase will do the setup for us and then we are going to download the project plist file. So this is our project right now and it says uh, we can do the getting started. I'm going to click on iOS and here it asks us a few questions about iOS bundle identifier. So in order to get this we need to go to Xcode and I'm going to open a new project. Let me move from my other screen here. Make it smaller to fit. All right, um, I'm going to select a single view application, click next. Then I'm going to call this quick chat 2.0. Uh, this is going to be for iPhone. Uh, make sure you select the language Swift. Um, click Next. I'm going to save it on my desktop. And click Create. So this is our main window. And as you can see, we are getting our bundle identifier from our project. I'm going to select this. Copy. And let's go back to our 
Firebase setup. I'm going to paste the bundle identifier here. App Store ID, I'm not going to put anything. Just click Add Application. Right, it says now that uh, we are downloading the Google Services Info plist file and we need to put it in our project directory. So let's open this file and I'm going to drag this to my projects directory just under my info plist. Let's close this, copy items if needed and click finish. Uh, now we get our Google in uh, services info plist file. So the, let's go to back to our Firebase and click continue. Now it says how to install the Firebase through uh, CocoaPods. All right, we don't need this, and uh, this is how to set up the Firebase, and we don't need this either. So click finish, and our project is ready to run.